Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. If you guys are new to this channel, hello, hi, my name is Mary Musa, and today I'm gonna to be doing with you guys a high street haul. So the time for like a autumn -y, new bits kind of haul has come. A couple of days ago, I went into Westfield. Um, I needed to go into H&M. So I thought, you know what? I might as well just do a haul, pick some new things, and I don't have anything proper new for winter, or just any new bits. Um, so I thought it just made sense to just grab as much as I can. If you guys guys would love to see some of the items I got I put them together as like proper fits as well so you guys can see how I've accessorized it or whatnot if I have kept you guys happy and ready to watch this then make sure you guys hit that like button and you might as well subscribe if you haven't already so let's get straight into it let's start with Zara I feel like so many people have been doing Zara hauls and so many people have been able to find some really nice things from Zara because of these hauls so I want to be part of that list so the first thing I got from Zara was this ribbed bodysuit i do find that during winter i do a lot of browns i do a lot of beiges i don't really do much pastely colors i never used to shop in zara like i only shopped in zara when i really want to like treat myself because i know i was just a little bit like crazy so i spent 25 pounds and 99 pence on this ribbed um oh my god it's so bad oh, <laughs> so i spent 25 pounds on this oh my god it's not it's not a bodysuit okay right worth the money can't lie I've just seen the back and it kind of has it's slightly longer small i really should have got immediate because i have believe it or not guys i have muscly arms so um sometimes stuff like this how thin this is what the hell stuff like this sometimes it's a struggle you know the next item i got from zara were these trousers like a stone color it's not cream but it's not white but it's got that little bit of gray like undertone to it so i feel like it's stone unless i'm completely wrong this is high-waisted um like smart wear trousers most times i'm just wearing jeans and leggings that's pretty much all i wear so i don't wear enough proper trousers and i want trousers where there's you know it's not just too tight because guys can't lie i've been putting on weight like, um so this was 25.99 once again i feel like this could have been 17.99 or can't lie but this is definitely on the good quality side so it is like um a tapered style trousers so i feel like it'll look really nice with that bodysuit so i probably actually match it together like that to be fair so when i was picking this up this is like a um it's a bra leg i love the color it's perfect for winter it's like a dark color but it's not black it's um it's dark blue i'm trying to think of the word for it it's like an ink color Oh, guys, I did English literature and I got an A. Lord of mercy. But the reason why I got it was because I got it with this cardigan. So I thought it would be really cute as a set. Something I can wear at home, I can wear out. Obviously, but you know when you just maybe... Oh, do you know what's my gel? I was about to say when you go visit friends. <laughs> we can't be doing that no more. This is kind of the chill with your friends at home. Mind or vibe. You can wear this to date night with like trousers. But I was umming and ahhing about buying this. Just because this on its own is $12.99. I feel like it could have been $7.99. Mm, am I being too cheap? I feel like this could have been maybe $12. Oh, it is $12.99. <laughs> so yeah, okay. $12.99. It's hardly anything. This should definitely be seven ninety nine. I'm using my old retail, um, you know, moments. But yeah, I feel like the cardigan itself I could wear by itself. This is twenty five ninety nine. But the quality of this does feel really nice. It does feel really soft or whatnot so um that, that this is what i got i actually got another pair of trousers in zara i got um these wet look kind of leather style pants and this is like another stone color i have quite a lot of leather jackets that are stone and i thought it'd be cute to kind of get like an all leather white cream stony outfit together i think i look really sick like the sizing for me in zara i'm a size extra small well, okay right all right I want an extra small anymore. I'm like a small, okay? I only get an extra small for like tight fitted dresses so that you know you can give me some body or whatever. I've got these trousers in an extra small. Wow, man. Oh, I really forced it. They don't look like proper tight, skinny, where I can't breathe. 
so you're trying to do that and one thing i like about this as well is that it has this on it like the zipper so if you wanted to open up the zipper and have a little bit of leg or trainers maybe you can and you can zip all the way down so okay so basically we have a bit of a slight problem which is fine like i'm actually gonna like take my ass to exchange this which is just annoying because I do really like these trousers, but these extra smalls are tight. Oh my God. So basically, if you guys like your trousers like that, you know, it's got that gap thing, then yep, this is for you, but I absolutely hate it. Let's look at my bum. Look, it's just so flat. It looks like I've got a long bum. I love this as well, which is so annoying. I feel like this works together as a little outfit, um, but it's just, it, you saw, I was just struggling, so yeah this one is just these trousers but i love them unfortunately this isn't the right size i can't lie guys i have been trying to find a waistcoat for years i love the 90s fashion i love incorporating it you guys know i love the whole clueless um but if you don't know i'm telling you guys now but i'm hoping you do um i love the whole like clueless vibe i love that you want to create this waistcoat look with a white shirt with nice vintage mum jeans and some boots with a coat like that's all i wanted and guess what guys they had this in zara and i was so happy because there was no small sizes left and um the this size was actually on not the mannequin but you know how they kind of hang it on top of something and i was like i was like yep yep get that asap rocky i spent 20 so basically pretty much i spent 25 minutes on, on each item i did say i wasn't trying to buy items for 50 pounds upwards because why am i spending 300 pounds on zara and five things you know i could go on plt i took for misguided and boohoo and get all of that with so much more so now, to be honest the way everything's going maybe not but yes i got this waistcoat i spent 136 pounds and 94 pence so i mean that's i mean that's good i do feel like if i was to spend that in primark i would probably get so much more because i would have picked up socks and stuff like that i don't really look at zara like night nightgowns or lingerie i don't even know if they do it like moving on to this baby here i didn't think i showed you my zara bag this is my zara bag okay i didn't pick up that much because the one in westwood i don't think it's that big i do feel like because the corona is a bit slow with maybe the new things they've got in um one thing for me because obviously i worked in retail i was a hm manager having been in that um position in my life i'm so picky when i go shopping like i i have a standard <laughs> I don't know who the hell died and made me area manage of uh, retail shops everywhere. But when I go in, always bear like, okay, like, you know, are the mannequins matching? What's outside? Is it a front um, table? Is it folded? Is there enough size? Is the quantity? All this stuff I did when I was in H10 minutes. So when I went in there in the Western world, I was a bit like, I just felt like it's missing. It could have been better. Okay. It just could have been i didn't get that much it wasn't big i don't like shopping when it's just too much clutter i did pick up i think three items and i'm really really happy with the items i picked i think that they're so versatile let's start off with an accessory because um, i haven't accessorized properly in a long time i get a lot of my bags from shein i love shein like it's so affordable and you get like you get a couple of dupes there people wouldn't know first of all it's a super cute bag like can we just look at this i needed a new side bag i feel like i need one that looks a little bit more presentable if that makes sense the side bags that have a very casual those side bags don't go with like um sophisticated style um daytime everyday outfits i don't go with that so i needed something that i can hold like this or not but i love this and i can have it to the side so this was 19 at 99 i think it's quite decent it's definitely a 20 pound kind of little sturdy bag i definitely see myself wearing that like quite regularly so if you guys see me in the same bag for the next couple of months then that's why it's so nice so i bought this two-piece set i love two-piece sets um two-piece sets are easy do you know what i mean you can get a banging picture in it you can wear it as much time as you want because it, it's kind of becomes like 
a tracksuit, a throw on, do you know what I mean? Or you can mix and match, you know? Yeah, so I got this brown um, ribbed kind of leggings. There's a little bit of flair to it here. I actually got this in a size small because I was so worried that, you know when leggings are too tight, you pull them on around your crotch, yeah? It's just a bit like, oh, like you're literally going on World War Three with your fucking trousers. I was just like, let me, let me just save myself the time, the stress and the sweat and get a small, it does come in extra small. And what I love about it is you can get it as a set like this. I have been wanting like vests for so long. I always have been into like cardigans and vests. But yeah, so when the trend came, I was like, yep, yeah, I need some, need some. Guys, it's sold out everywhere. But even H&M, like there's none of the vests and they always used to have like so much quantity of things. So it's just a little bit annoying, but I was able to get Evers. So this is slightly long as well, it's why I like, I can wear this as a dress and I can wear it with thigh high boots, I can wear another turtleneck with this. So this is how it comes and yeah, I'm super happy with it. It's not exactly what I wanted as in a kind of vest, but we got them. So these two as a set is going to be a fit. I got this in a size small as well because there was no extra small. The top was $17.99 and the trousers were $19.99. I spent £57.97. So I spent about £60 on three items. I think it's decent, you know, for three things. And they are these are things we're going to wear a lot and use a lot. So I'm happy with that. Bershka are doing some like new lounge but it's kind of like cool lounge, not like the lounge where you just stay at home, it's lounge where you can actually wear it out. So I dipped into that so that I had some, a little bit more of a variety, vi vi variety, 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 variety. Wow, we got there in the end. And I picked up this dress, it's like a tracksuit jersey style, um, dress. I love the hoodie on it. I feel like this is cute with like trainers. I can still wear a coat and you can just wear it at home as well sometimes. Um, it's called a Be Comfy by Bershka and this was $29.99. I feel like this is a little bit more um, expensive so I'm guessing maybe the quality is a bit better but it's probably right at the entrance so they're definitely promoting that because boy we ain't going nowhere at this rate. This is nice. I like the zip so if I wanted to have a little bit of cleavage on it, make it a little bit more sexy, I can. And it's got that kind of like um, corset you know when it goes down um tight feel so this i like and i'm super excited to try it <laughs> guys oh my goodness this dress and i weren't planning to talk i was just planning just to literally just do my initial try on like do you know what i mean but my goodness this dress guys what wait what this is cute like this is so fitted i can't even express it to you guys like do you know the the cleavage that this is going to give a lot of us right about now uh, this what let me check with the head on you can't chat to me what okay so the next thing i got from bershka i can't lie i'm really really like excited to wear this i got this in a size small and this was 25 pounds these are leggings so it has that feel to it so, like i said i do feel like they're be comfy so this one can't wait to take a picture in it because this is kind of like a home picture so this is the matching kind of top to it and i like the fact that this can zip up and down so there's just so much to it to make it just look a little bit edgy this was 25 pounds i feel like i was getting really excited with gray that's why i picked it up but this is an off shoulder kind of corset style um top it's slightly different i don't think i've seen like a lounge version of this unless if 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 there is and i apologize but i don't think i really have seen it um anything that has the booby style like printing on i love it just helps to first of all make the actual boob look like it's sitting perfectly so evidently i pretty much just wore gray brought gray from that shot um actually i got one more thing okay this one i was so i was like oh do i really want to spend 17.99 on like a crop top so this one, I feel like it was like a dumb spend looking at it. So when I wear it, I might change my mind. But basically, it's just a top. It's a rib top. You, like rib tops are it at the moment. They're comfy. They're really nice figure fitting, and they just feel really good. This is like a nice V line shaped one. The back as well. You you kind of tie it at the back, so you can give yourself that push if you want. This one was a bit of like a 
Yeah, let me just add it in. <laughs> oh my god, I spent 145 pounds and 91 pence. I slept H&M last because you guys know I love H&M. I work there. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I got. I, I shopped in trend every day and divided so i try to get as much as possible trend is a little bit more expensive it's more on the um like zara scale more like kind of nicer out there stuff because every day is like the everyday girl is like decent budget divided a little bit cheaper it's for the younger age group and the sizing on divided is a little bit smaller because it's catering to like teens and do you know what i mean that kind of vibe oh god i sound like i'm a fucking doing a meeting <laughs> so i got a few bits so the first thing i brought which i'm actually so excited to show you guys are these pants i have three wet lip really good quality pants like um, a black one i got the stone one and now i've got this chocolate one i don't do enough like color leggings so i just thought you know what why not i want to do a bit more with my autumn looks so i got this in the size six ones from zara were 19 99 whilst these ones are 17.99 you know this doesn't have like a button so this is like a slip on one so if it fits it fits if it doesn't it doesn't do you know what i mean yeah i'm super happy with this one i love cardigans i live in cardigans you guys know this already um it's always kind of been something that i always add to outfits this is the color i got i love cream beige this is probably like so predictable this kind of cardigan is something that i would get so yeah this is the conscious haitian conscious range so haitian conscious me oh, i can't believe i'm really telling you guys this <laughs> this was 24.99 i got this in a size extra small because um i want it to be fitted when i do oversize sometimes especially in cardigans i feel like it just drowns me out because i'm so small so it looks like i'm carrying a blanket half the time around me you know this is really different to my vibe it's very vintage but i do feel like this is the kind of trousers i can dress up or dress down they're um, actual trouser trouser pieces where you can wear it like every day and still look super stylish so it does look like it's a bit of a slim fit but there's still room for, for it to be loose you know straight a little bit i got this in the size extra small so this is actually from the trend these trousers were 34.99 so about 35 pounds for trousers um that's how much i spend on like jeans 35 pounds 40 pounds on jeans especially like good quality jeans so i i do know these are the quality on these are going to be good so why not ah so i got this shirt in a medium because i wanted it to be a bit on the a bigger size i feel like this would be really nice with a once again like wet lit leggings even with jeans was 14.99 okay so i also got um this top from h&m so this is like the an, i think it's going to be off shoulder is wet look and i feel like i can wear this in and going out that's like something a little bit more special um but to be honest i got this in a eight um, I would have got a six, but the reason I got eight was because of the chest area. I didn't want to be too tight, too, um, too tight. And so I like this. I'm not like, oh my god, excited by this. I feel like I just picked it for the sake of it. But I do feel like I can make some um, usage out of it for like this special day. I got some more trousers. So I got these velvet. It's like velvet suede whatever but i know i'm gonna attract a lot of like fluff i still got a roller thing but i got this just to be a little bit edgy there is a lot um i think that i can do with them this it's not skinny i don't think it's skinny i think it's very straight so um we'll see because i love skinny i got this in a size i actually got this in a six um so this was 19.99 I, I guess it makes sense because of the actual um material texture of the trousers so yeah i got that i've got two more things i'm gonna show it to you i also went a little bit crazy not crazy but i went a little bit out there look how bright and vibrant this freaking jumper is oh my god guys if you can if you want you can adjust this bit so you can make it tighter to give it that little bit of extraness but um yeah i loved this the color's very out there i'm gonna definitely wear it a lot probably more in the house than out of the house i can't lie not because i can't but just because when i was wearing it at home it just was nice and snuggy um it was still cute um but because it's really cold outside i might try and see if i can put like a turtleneck with it and see how it looks but this is what i got and this was 14.99 once again i feel like that's a decent price for a jumper especially on the high street um end of things so yeah so these are these trousers it's kind of like a snake's snake print like croc print vibe um it doesn't have the um 
the leathery fish, fish smell we all know about that yeah it doesn't have that smell at all um so that for me is really important wet look it does none of the trousers none of the wet look like leathery trousers have the fish smell nothing at all so this is good so these are 19.99 last thing i got guys were some new earrings from h&m the reason why i bought these earrings is just i just found it so cool that there's two faces like on my ears and um, the color's nice it's so dainty it's something that i would probably do when my hair is up and stuff so people can see it more but i think for earrings in um a normal high street shop you spend about five seven pounds anyway five seven ninety nine standard so yeah it's a decent buy in total so i spent 95 pounds 39 on all of the divided stuff um i had four items and i spent 88 pounds and i think the reason why i was 88 pounds for four items is definitely because of the trousers i got from trend so in the total guys i spent about 534 pounds and 37 pence on all my new items okay so basically what we need you guys to do is make sure you watch this video to the end make sure you like it subscribe because that is really a lot of money like what the f what the fuck and i see you bitches putting i spent a thousand pounds and i'm thinking how how are you spending a thousand pounds so yes guys that is me all done i hope you guys like that haul um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys love these kind of videos please let me know i'll see you guys very very soon and yeah i love you guys so much and take care be safe <laughs>